Oh, hey me mates, welcome to a indie game called Sepulka. I think I pronounced that right. This is a, as you can see, sort of like a pixelated sort of like, um, point and click, it's a point and click game in a pixelated sort of form, like Monkey Island and Day of the Tentacle and stuff. Um, I know nothing about this game except that there are some horror elements, some trains and apparently big bags. Now that's just what the game developers said on their website, but let's go for it, new game. There's a guy sleeping there. Whoa, he's awake. Is that me? And the wicked shall hold their tongues. Ah, voice acting. Very nice. I guess that's me. They stir. <clears throat> Beneath this silent world of saints and sinners, twixt the living and the dead. <coughs> okay. Train's still going. I can't have slept long. We left, uh, we left. When did we leave? Where did we leave? I must say the voice acting is quite high quality. God it? damn. It's unnervingly quiet. <coughs> <coughs> I need to still there, like, maybe I should fetch some water. The restaurant should be open now. Whoa, okay. Well. Thanks for telling me how to play, because I've totally never played a game like this before. All right. No sense in taking the entire thing. Okay, well let's look at it instead. What do we have here then? Wallet. Yes. Dr. Lang, curator of the Krennic on Thames Museum. That's me all right. Cool. You just had to... Jingle bells? Does that mean I found something out? Shut us down. Shadows down. Mm, 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 I mm, don't mm. want to be carting a book around unnecessarily. Okay. The Charnel House Burial by Louis Cassell. <laughs> to think I don't get enough of the dead without pulp horror novels. Uh... Alright, shut up. Um, okay, so this kind of game isn't everyone's cup of tea. I realise that. Um, but I found it on... Um... Let's go stir up a drink or two. Maybe something strong is in order. Clear the head. I found it on Google. Um, it was on, I think it was IndieDB. I downloaded it. And okay, it, I'm Dr. Say. Harold Lang. My destination is Auger Peak Island. I'm on this train to get there. <coughs> this guy seems ill. I'm, I'm going to evaluate some finds. They called me to. They called you to what? I can't just cut. It's nothing. All right. Um, as I was saying, uh, this isn't everyone's cup of tea. This sort of style. I realise that. But oh, hello. But um, I'm going to try and speed through this as quick as possible. As you can see, it's quite a slow-moving game. Uh, point and click usually are. Uh, games usually are. Um, but I found this on. I think it was IndieDB. It's a free game, so if you want to play for yourself, the link is in the description as usual. Support the developers. They might make something special one day. And they've in fact got a game on on um, Steam Greenlight or Steam altogether at the moment. I'm not really sure. I didn't really read much, but they have got a game up on there as well. I'm not sure of, of the price or what the game's even like. But anyway, I'll shut up now and get back to the game. A friendly looking fellow. Makes a change for public transport. Okay, this game's in full screen as well, so I have to time my recording with my phone instead of on Audacity. Good evening, my friend. I was wondering if you could- Ah yes, I've seen you walking around. Having good. trouble settling down, are we? His voice acting isn't as good. Quality. <laughs> Something like that. Could do with a stiff drink about now? Right you are then. Oh, that's it. Okay, well that was a great conversation. Let's go in 1A. Locked. Okay. I'm just going to explore. I'm going to... When I play games like this, I usually like to explore everywhere and make sure I don't miss anything. Locked. Okay, fine. I'm going to try and skip some of the... Uh, Dialogue locked. Well. Isn't this the way out? Well, that's weird. Oh, shut up. Um, okay, so let's go. Let's go get that drink of mine because I'm gonna get drunk and f all the beaches. Even though I've seen no girls so far, can I please go through the door? I am clicking on the door. Wait, uh, let me talk to this guy. I think the way out's locked. Right, you are then. Uh, okay. Keyhole. The door to the next carriage appears to be locked. Is that normal? Nothing's wrong, is it? 
<laughs> yes. You city folk always jump to conclusions. Ain't nothing wrong, just how we do things when our guests are asleep. Prevents prying eyes and swift fingers. That's a good idea. Isn't that a bit of a fire hazard? Okay, that's true. Tom, <laughs> let me tell you. If a fire breaks out on this train, then no amount of carriage doors are going to save you from roasting. If you catch my drift. Be a steel coffin if the unthinkable happened. Well, that's not good. <sighs> um, could you possibly unlock the door? I could really use a drink. Don't reckon I can, no. <laughs> I can give you the key, though. On one condition. Just do it yourself, oh, you lazy shit. Please don't tell me he's gonna ask me to solve some ridiculous conundrum of his. <laughs> Bring me back a shot of whiskey when you get back. Old Floyd look you up. Just tell him it's for done. Oof. No problem, <laughs> my friend. Thank you. Okay, somehow he... I force grabbed the key from his hand from behind me. Well, that happens all the time. So do I have an inventory? I, shift, tab, no, oh well. I guess I just do it automatically when I click it. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. Look. I've got the key, come on. How do I access an inventory here? Um, do I click myself? Nope, space. I don't wanna click escape in case it exits this game. Uh, there was no controls, so I'm just going to press everything. Turns out, I have to go up here to bring the thing down. Now, how I would have known that, I have no idea. But anyway, key, door. Let's go for it. Aha! Uh -huh. Open. Finally. <laughs> Sorry that took me so long. Right, okay, let's try these doors. Uh, better hurry to the restaurant. Don't want it to close before I can get Don's whiskey. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Can't open any of these doors. Who's that? Oh, we can look at it. A solemn-looking young woman. She's seated on a chair. Her eyes are staring off at something just outside the picture's edge. It's a little unnerving. I feel like... I feel like I've seen a photograph like this before. If this was... If, it, if this wasn't up in the train carriage, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, he talks really slow, so I'm going to try and speed through the dialogue as much as I can. Like I say, this is quite a slow-moving, story-based game, so... Um, if locked. you're still... Locked? What? Oh, I guess I need the key. Again. So, if you guys are still no here... Good. I can't even get the key in. Locked from the other side? Ah. Serious? Well, what do I do about that? Dr. Harold Lang... Cred ah, a bit of money. Oh, Just cool. what the doctor ordered. <laughs> Just what the doctor ordered! <laughs> Let's talk to this guy again, see if he has another key. The restaurant is locked. This key's no good. Ah, Floyd must be getting things ready. Just take your time, boy. Let him do his thing. He'll unlock it when he's good and ready. There's no rush, is there? <laughs> well, you want your drink, don't you? So you flipping better let me flipping back. Lock. Okay, locked. Oh, the whoa, he took the key off me, the douche. Alright, so if you guys are still here watching this, then thank you. <laughs> and I uh, suppose uh, this game is kind of boring uh, in a way so far, but it is a story-based game, so y of course it's going to be slow. At least at the beginning. Locked. Okay, I guess i got to wait for him to open it. Bloody douche waffle. Wait, oh, maybe I can go in these doors now. Yeah, bitch. Hello. Um, you look a, a bit huge weird. black hold all. Looks. God knows what's inside. Yes. He doesn't look very well. That's if it's even a he. He looks positively sick, in fact. <laughs> he does a bit. He looks a bit like Darth Sidious. Hello there. I'm sorry for the intrusion. I was just what. Oh my God! It's Darth Sidious. He's muttering something. I can't make it out. I'm sorry. What was that? <laughs> Maybe what? I should be going. I'm sorry to have bothered you. That's normal. He doesn't seem to be able to open his mouth properly. I think I'd better leave. Maybe Mention it to the ticket inspector. Good idea, because that is weird as hell. <laughs> well, uh, so far I'm not really sure what this game's about, I guess. Locked. I think I can hear breathing. Okay, breathing, someone's sleeping, won't disturb him. Yep, cool. What about this one? Yep, same. Okie dokie. Well, let's go back to Mr. Inspector Douchey Waffle. I'm probably going to cut through some of this, guys, because uh, as I go through the video, because it is quite long drawn out. 
the website said it'd take about half an hour, but I guess that's if you know what you're doing. And I don't. <laughs> Grub. There's a man in one of the rooms in the next carriage. I don't think he's at all well. <laughs> we get some right crazies on the train, I'm telling you. You learn to leave them be after a while. After a while. The, the wretched man can barely speak. Aye, and I'd be the same way after the amount of booze most of these lads have had. Is Floyd still not operating then? Not as far as I'm aware. Ah, well. Give the boy time. Hey, I saw one of your fellow passengers pop their head out the room at the end of the car. Thanks. What? Ha! <laughs> You just fall asleep the right there, you little bitch. Okay, so according to him, there's a pretty little girl, well, not little, but a pretty, pretty, pretty girl who poked her head out this door before when I wasn't here, so. Well, this was the right room. Hello? Hello? More large bags. Hmm, this isn't a pile well. of paper dogs. They're not very well made. Well, they must be well made if you know what they are. More large bags. At first glance. Something doesn't feel right about this. They're all the same. Hmm. Why would everyone have the same luggage? I want to have a look inside, but these are somebody's bags. Maybe it's a band and they've all got amps. Something I want. All right, all right, sure. So let's pick up one of these dogs. <laughs> As a child, I used to make origami like this. Where's the girl that ticket collector claims to have seen? I'm, mm, ah, I'm sure she won't miss just one. Oh, you dropped it. Could she be? Oh shit, oh shit, what? What's going on? Nothing. Oh. But that sounded awfully like a door unlocking in the next carriage. Is Floyd ready for business? Why? Why did it do that? Like, bring the weird music in and, like... Ooh! That picture! It is scary! I already saw it. I don't know why I went ooh, but you know. It's just so beautiful. Yay! I can now drink to my heart's content and get drunk and F all the bitches. You must be Floyd. You look about 12. <laughs> Good evening. Floyd, is it? Ah, oh, Mr. Lang. <laughs> don't nice sideburn to join us. It's Dr. Lang, actually. But uh, who needs formalities in a place like this? <laughs> Me. Quite. I suppose you're here on business. Business? I, uh, yeah. A drink, Mr. Lang. That is what you're after, is it not? Perhaps a bite to eat first? Unfortunately, all our meals are reserved. By all means, have a drink, though. Pull up a stool. I'd better not stay. Mm. Your ticket collector, Don, I think it was, has tasked me with procuring him a glass of whiskey. Ah, oh, yes. He did leave his head flask here, thinking about it. <laughs> it's right there on the bar. This one's on the house, Mr. Lang. Why, thank you. Even though, uh... <laughs> it's empty. It's empty. He doesn't oh. look too happy. I would neither. But kind of a creepy fellow. And coming from someone who works in a museum, that's saying a lot. Yep. Well, let's talk to him again. Flask's because... empty, Floyd. Better give me a shot of whiskey. No more freebies, I'm afraid, Mr. Lang. It'll be five pounds. Seriously? Five pounds? You're burying me alive here. Ha! Huh? Sorry. <laughs> the t what is that like? I don't know if you can hear that, but there's like a like a high-pitched noise in the background. It's quite unsettling because it wasn't there a minute ago. It wasn't there before and it's there now and I'm quite unsettled by it. This game looks innocent, but guys, the website said it was it had horror in it, so yeah. Here you go, my good man. This reminds me of the shining actually, in the bar. Better Why am I with another? A 
strikes us is the path to ruin, Mr. Lang. We wouldn't want you to go before your time, would we? I think I can manage just one more drink. That's, That's what probably a bad idea. say, isn't it, Mr. Lang? Just one more for the road. I can handle it. That but noise is getting louder. Driving before. And what about your liver, Mr. Lang? Can that handle just one more drink? God damn, Floyd, you always were a preachy son of a bitch, weren't you? What? I think you're quite mistaken, Mr. Lang. What the hell? We've never met, you and I. I just don't want you to do yourself an injury. This is reminding me a lot of one the Shining. more goddamn drink, you stupid bitch. <laughs> just stay out of my way and I'll stay out of yours. Jesus Christ. That's right, Mr. Lang. Let it all out. There's a good little puppy. That noise is getting louder. What the hell? What did... <sighs> Shit. I'm sorry if that noise is really loud. I don't know what it is. I need to go, Floyd. It's been a pleasure, as always. Aren't you forgetting your promise, Mr. Lang? Whiskey. For Don. Hmm. I'm really intrigued. May I suggest you simply take the bottle back to your room? Whether you decide to give it to Don or not is your call. Uh... Choices, Once choices. more unto the breach, dear friends. I'm afraid you can't just take it, Mr. Lang. What? No you just said I could! You might wish to. How much? It's not cheap, I'm afraid. Oh, fuck 40 you. pounds should do it. I don't have that much money on me. I'm sure you'll find a way, Mr. Lang. You always do. I'm so confused. My guy's like, I know you. And then he's like, Floyd's like, you don't know me? And now suddenly Floyd's like, I know you. What the hell is going on? Seriously, that noise, that high-pitched whirring in my ear is getting louder and louder. It's drowned out the music. I know you can probably hear that, guys. It's probably too loud for you on the video, and I apologize. It's just... Uh, okay. I'm very confused. Wait, I want to check I on... Think I should go. Oh, okay. I was going to check on that weird person, but... A solemn... Let's have a look at that again. I feel like something's gonna happen with it, because that is creepy. It's a creature from hell. Hello! How are you doing? Would you like a cup of tea? Would you like a cake? Where? Ah! Ah! Oh! No, no, go, go, go! No, get off my ass! No, don't touch my butt! 